this is the season that everything's opening up and picking back up. And I do feel a little paralyzed. In fact, my capacity, I don't know if it shrunk over COVID, but it feels like what was a normal day pre-COVID is now an exhausting day today. And I don't know completely what's behind that, but I do know that we are a little PTSD from a season that has surprised us almost daily and all of our um, feelings, whether it's from the election or from you know a worldwide pandemic, we could have never predicted the things that would happen in the last year, the racial tensions that, that we're all faced with. There's just so much hitting us every single day. And, and so I think one, to recognize the reality that you're not alone, that there's a universal anxiety and stress that's happening right now and, and to talk about it. I think the most important and helpful thing that you can do in this book is to begin to notice your thoughts. So there's a whole part about thinking about what you think about and actually looking at your thoughts because most of us don't think about what we think about. And then you can get to the source and you can kind of start to go, okay, what I'm really afraid of, it's not that I just, you know, lost my temper about this thing or I, you know, want to crawl back in bed and get in my robe because I'm lazy. There's really some pressures that we're all facing and to name those and to begin to sort out our thoughts and to really see what the themes are and to keep bringing this, these to Jesus and to keep saying, okay, God help me again today because this isn't a once and for all solve it. And then to rebuild our lives on the things that matter to us, to be thoughtful about that and not to just run off with the pressures of the day and let them take back over.